Hello guys, Cloud Code has a big problem of often ignoring Cloud MD instructions and people are making memes out of it and trying to come up with some weird workarounds to force it to. And I was trying to find a solution to divide Cloud MD into parts potentially, testing with Cursor, Sonnet and Opus. And I will show you the results of my two-day experiment in this video. And I noticed specifically before this video that Claude often ignores something in the middle of Cloud MD if Cloud MD is longer, like 700 lines, for example, which is, in my case, generated by Laravel Boost package, combining a lot of guidelines for different ecosystem packages like Laravel, like Flux, like Livewire, testing with Pest and others. So the combined Cloud MD is pretty long. And I decided to test what specific guidelines if ignores with default Cloud MD versus, for example, Cloud rules, which is a pretty new thing in Cloud to manage memory. And also, what is the difference between rules and skills? So it seems like the new trend in December is skills everywhere. I even tweeted about it. So we'll talk about skills at the end of this video. And my test was this. I asked Claude to generate the prompt that would touch specific 10 rules, 10 guidelines I picked from various parts of Cloud MD. And this is a fresh Laravel 12 project with these tasks that touch the guidelines below. So after I run this prompt, which is a pretty big prompt, it took like 10 minutes to execute for Sonnet and Opus. And then after that, I asked Claude, did it follow the guidelines? And I specifically picked 10 rules, 10 guidelines, and calculated the result. How many of them were missed or skipped each time? So did I get 10 out of 10 followed, at least on one occasion? Watch until the end of this video to find out. So now I will show you the results of that experiment with Cursor, Cloud Code Sonnet, Cloud Code Opus, and Cloud Rules. Let's dive in. So I started the testing with Sonnet model in Cursor because I thought that Cursor allows multiple models, multiple agents at the same time. So up to 4x, as you can see, I was able to launch four Sonnet 4.5 instances at once. And then the result was something like this. Four agents working on the same prompt, and that was all completed in roughly 10 minutes. And then to all of the agents individually, I asked the same follow-up question. Here's a screenshot. I will zoom that in. So this is the prompt. From the last prompt, check how many guidelines did you actually use from Cloud MD. And I chose that agent on the right. And the result, the answer was this. 5 out of 10. And at that point, I realized why my approach with cursor was flawed. Because I had forgotten that in cursor, it doesn't take Cloud MD for cursor. It should be specifically MDC file for rules. And the similar result was for other three agents. So this is another agent. Guidelines I did not use. The list of five rules that were ignored. This agent, same result, 5 out of 10, 5 used, 5 not used. And then the agent number 4, 5 fully used and 1 partially used, so 5.5. But then I noticed the similarity that the same rules were ignored. Look at this, lines 109, 227, 303, 348. Another agent, 109, 227, 303, 348, and another one for eloquent APIs. So yeah, although my cursor experiment was flawed because it should have been MDC file and not CloudMD, I thought there was something here, same guidelines missed. So I continued my experiment with Cloud Code Sonnet, then Cloud Code Opus, and then Cloud Rules. We'll get to that in a minute, step by step. Meanwhile, the price of my experiment with Cursor, this is another reason why it doesn't make much sense to use Cursor for financial reasons. Each of those prompts with Sonnet cost 75, 74, or $1. And then follow-up prompts to check CloudMD usage, another like 20 cents each. So yeah, in terms of pricing, it's much better to be on the Anthropic plan with Cloud Code with Sonnet where you have the limits like five hour limit and weekly limit instead of paying for each prompt like a dollar or so. So this is where we get to Cloud Code. And before running the prompt, I asked it, is current Cloud MD too long? 
And their answer was that Claude MD is well within healthy limits. This was a bit of a surprise for me because I totally saw the warning for similar size Claude MD being too long in tokens, but then also what it suggested if the file eventually gets large let me zoom that in so if the file eventually gets large consider claude rules md files so this is kind of the official suggestion by claude itself to divide into rules and this is exactly what i did later in this video and we'll see if it improved the result and then I also followed up with this question, does it depend on the model, Sonnet or Opus? And since all of them have the same context window, the size of CloudMD should not matter for the results. But I still decided to test it out. So let's see, Sonnet versus Opus. So I have set the model to Sonnet 4.5 and executed that prompt. In this case for Cloud Code, I had to do that manually compared to cursor multiple agents. So I've launched the prompt, looked at the result, roll back the code and then launch again also four times. Since cursor allowed four agents max, I decided to do apples versus apples comparison four to four. So this is the result from the first prompt. I actually didn't care that much about code quality and whether it delivered. I specifically was asking for did it follow the guidelines and the result for Sonnet was eight out of ten. And interestingly, the guidelines it did not use were the same guidelines among those five that were not used by cursor. Second attempt, it was 7 out of 10. And this time it did use datasets for past, but failed to read a few more other guidelines. Third attempt, 8 out of 10 again. And in this case, the same guidelines as in the first attempt by Sonnet. And the fourth attempt was 9 out of 10. And the only rule that was not used, it's specifically repeating in all of those failure attempts, it's PHP doc array shape type definitions, which is actually a pretty optional thing if you ask me. Next, I switched to Opus and executed the same prompt four times. But unfortunately, I haven't saved one of the screenshots for some reason. So I have three attempts to show out of four. So this is the first one, nine out of ten, and best data sets, also one of the repeating things that it's constantly missed. The second attempt was 8 out of 10 and surprise surprise pest is missed again as well as php dog block for array and then the third attempt was 8 out of 10 and look at the guidelines that were missed same 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 and i don't remember the actual result of the fourth agent but it was eight or nine so basically opus was a little better than sonnet but basically missing the same guidelines. So I didn't manage to squeeze 10 out of 10 even once on any model. And then I decided to experiment with the rules that Cloud Code advised itself. And I asked it how it would split to Cloud Rules from bigger Cloud MD. And the suggested split was something like this. So it divided Cloud MD by topics and those became separate MD files. This is the screenshot of the updated Cloud MD just referencing those files. So Cloud MD became like 27 lines instead of 600. This is the summary reduced 95% smaller Cloud MD and everything is divided into separate rules. And then I executed the same prompt four times with Opus. And even from the first prompt result, I noticed that in the process it's reading the files and then it's loading blade rule when it is appropriate. So that is the difference. It doesn't load Claude MD right away. It loads files contextually when they are needed. So technically it should be a better result. Or so I thought. Let's see what the agents returned and how many guidelines did it miss this time. The first result, 9 out of 10. And as you can see, the same thing is missed, array shape type. The second time, 8 out of 10 and familiar missed guidelines, shape type and data sets. And by the way, Cloud Code returns that result each time in a bit different way. I didn't force it to be within the same like table or anything. So that's why it's a different structure, but it's still the same 8 out of 10 or whatever out of 10. The third attempt was 8 out of 10 and what was missed, array shape type and past data sets, same thing. And then the fourth attempt, 8 out of 10 and the same rules missing past datasets and array shape type. 
So did Claude rules improve the result versus one Claude MD? Not really. Same eight or nine, never 10 out of 10. And same in this case, absolutely same guidelines were missed. And I was thinking to execute the same test again with Sonnet with Claude rules, but I realized that it would be probably the same. Maybe Sonnet would miss a few more guidelines, but it's not much worse than Opus from that point of view. And my final question was, what about Claude skills? Pretty new thing, getting much more popular these days, so people are dividing guidelines into skills. And if we took a look at the docs, skill is basically the same markdown file, but with additional scripts or helpers possible. Then it has a description which triggers the skill to be taken with the prompt. Similar how MCP server description affects the decision whether such MCP or skill is taken. But before trying out the skills, I decided to ask Cloud Code itself again, would those rules be taken better if they were structured as skills instead of rules? And the answer surprised me. But if you think about it, it makes perfect sense. The answer is it depends. So Claude itself says that seven out of 10 of those guidelines are better as rules because they are passive conventions. And then three out of 10 would be better as skills because they are executable actions. So yeah, after this answer, I decided not to take the experiment further and divide the rules into skills because apparently it wouldn't help much probably. And then again, all that experiment points to specific guidelines being missed. So my overall conclusion from this video is that the rules are likely taken depending on how it is formulated. So for example, the rule that was constantly ignored is phrased like add shape type when appropriate. There's no must, there's no priority, there's no keyword like always or something when appropriate. Similar with past data sets that were missed quite often. Use data sets in past. And then the sentence is, this is often the case and consider going with this. Again, no urgency, no priority keywords. So it makes sense that it's missed. In fact, it maybe wasn't even missed. It was loaded into memory, but since it wasn't a priority, Claude considered it to be an optional instruction more than a rule or a guideline. So this is exactly my final takeaway from this video. If you have important rules in your Claude MD, consider using keywords so they would not be missed. And phrasing the guidelines is much more important than apparently Claude MD size. And also dividing Claude MD into various rules or skills wouldn't help that much. What do you guys think? Am I missing something? Have I misinterpreted something? Did you have the cases where Claude ignored something from Claude MD specifically from the middle of the file if it's a longer file? Let's share our experience in the comments below and discuss further. And traditional reminder, if you want more of my AI coding experiments, subscribe to my Substack, aicodingdailysubstack.com newsletter. I send free newsletter every Wednesday with the industry news and my experiments and then extra perks will be for paid members starting with this YouTube series of nine videos. And then in January, I will publish more things specifically for paid subscribers. So support my mission of AI coding experiments. And that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.